looking for um, where to either type or verbally share. So I'd like to congratulate all of you who have taken on this particular action on committing and listening to Earl and especially to Chingni, Shihua, Jordan, Victoria, who have committed to listening to Earl for 30 consecutive days. Good on you, okay? So this particular action of committing to a simple exercise every day comes with it the potential of improving every single aspect of your life, okay? And I, I remember Bob telling me the only way I could lose was to quit. And by being on this 30 days challenge, not, well, challenge, right? And there'll be days where Bob himself said, if you are like me, there'll be days whereby I would do exactly what I want to do was to quit, right? That's the only way to lose. But Bob said, the one other thing that you can make sure your life is going to change is to make a decision that it will never ever happen. Right? Exactly how Suli Ilham, they made a decision that they're just going to commit to what they are doing and they commit to doing it despite um, the current paradigm would like to put them back. So as long as you're going to make this decision that you never quit, right? that's the only way that you can't lose, this decision will bring you big wins. So big that I will have difficulty explaining to you, but as long as you're willing to make that decision, as simple as the decision today, right now, that for the next 30 days, you're still going to commit to treat everyone as the most important person, I can almost guarantee you the wins you're going to get is going to be huge. Right? Um, it's not just me who said it. Earl said it. Bob did it. Um, Earl is no longer with us. Bob is 85. I'm sure they know what they're doing and, and the results shows. Okay? So, another sharing from Valerie uh, treated my annoying neighbor who, was, who always smokes and makes my whole house smell. smell. He's the most important person on earth. I usually get angry and frustrated due to bad smell, but instead I use another method to use the fan to push away the bad air from the house. And this method works and I'm no longer annoyed and affected by the smoking smell at all. Right? So it's just a very, very simple idea, a change in perspective. She made herself feel very, made herself feel so much better. Right? When you're annoyed, you're being unkind to you. Okay? So James says, uh, I felt great that I continue to practice gratitude and sending love to certain people and bosses. Continue to exercise before the call, continue to study imagination and memory, believe the result is really better. Although it's intangible, my pleasure, James, and thank you to the magic word, right? So yes, I can only show you but James, you should also thank yourself. I hope you, you know, put your hand out, give yourself a pat on the shoulder for willingly, uh, willingly, willingly accept an idea and graciously allow it to be impressed into your subconscious and hence um, you're seeing the results right now. That's why you're willingly taking actions and your results are just improving, right? So it has to be better, right? As long as you feel about it, right? Willingly and graciously receive. Isn't it nice? Yeah, I want to share my win. Okay, Brandon, great. Go yeah, ahead. because for the past one month, uh, I, my, this person has been very hostile towards me. Even the police officers came down two times to talk to this person. But uh, throughout the 30 days, I, I keep uh, sending out the message that uh, I'm your friend, not your enemy. Thank you, thank you. Then, then yesterday there was a breakthrough. Eh. She suddenly approached me and say, uh, and talk nicely to me. Then I tell her, hey, I'm not your enemy, I'm your friend. Why you every day scold me, scold me, scold me until I need to call police down. Then, then after that, 
like the whole situation got diffused and she said, Hey, I cook for you. You want to eat or not? Then I say, oh, okay, I bring rice for you to cook for me. <laughs> and it's like the whole month of hostility uh, yesterday was completely gone. <laughs> so, 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 so that, that's my wind that I want to share. <laughs> and, and because it was gone right, uh, after that moment, I was so energized. <laughs> Last night, I continued working until 3 a.m. And morning, 6 o'clock, I still could jump out of bed. <laughs> because there's no anger energy no negative energy already and 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 the attitude to keep going 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 is so strong now yeah <laughs> great sharing brandon yes he took an idea right send well wishes to it's an idea send well wishes to someone and it shows right that's a result in itself right this is an idea sometimes idea you may not you, sometimes idea you can't tell whether it's uh, positive or negative. I hope logically you can assume that is a positive idea that you are accepting. You may not be totally convinced yet, right? But Bob says, right, it's an idea. You don't have to reject it. Consider it, right? Consider it and Brandon consider it, accepted it, applied it, and the reward shows, right? Who's the winner of them all? It's not the person who irritated Brennan. Brennan is the biggest winner in this situation. Good. Thanks very much, Brennan. Uh, so you know it works, right? So you can keep continuing applying this technique. It works every single time. Now you can say with conviction. Okay. Um, so Bryce says, I choose my words mindfully and focus on the words towards my intent and go. Yes. That's as much as possible. The things I say, think right are consciously forming lovingly and positively as i know what i hold in my mind's reflection in my external world yes every single word makes a difference you have to be um you have to be mindful about every single word you say right the more aware you are on just that slight refinement that gives you that better alignment towards the results you want um tang says treat everyone's with respect, apply them my conversation with respect. I feel less stressed. In fact, I'm happier just wishing them well. Yes, being kind to yourself. Just, it's, a, it's a good feeling when you're less stressed, you just want to perform better, right? When you're stressed, you're tight, things don't flow. And Suli Yong says, I'm sending love to people who bothers me, I presume. Uh, don't consider. So, Suli, just focus, right? Even uh, 30 days later, even though you can't see anything happening, you just have to keep doing it, right? Same thing, if I said, if you're pregnant, you're pregnant. Uh, nine months later, 20 days later, the kid be born, right? So keep doing it. Do not actually say that 30 days later, I don't see the results, I'm going to stop. No. It's just like planting a seed. The seed is about to grow, it's about to blossom. I say, oh, no, time's up. I'm not going to give you any more tender loving care. I'll just let it be. You have, then you are just being unkind to yourself because that time and effort you have invested uh, have all just vanished. Okay? Keep doing it. Do not let the date be the distraction. Just keep doing it. If you keep giving good out, good has come back. Okay? So, Roy say as everything and myself is important, including my everything and everyone is important, including myself. Yes, yes, and yes. Big win for Brennan and Victoria. I get up early every morning. I'll get up every early every morning, even after the magic word lasted. I will also go from comfortable to uncomfortable. Um, magic word has really been good. I come to that I come to here every morning, I strongly believe it will change my life. Um, yeah, Victoria, you know, even if the magic word have ended, uh, what Bob challenged Araj, one of his top salesperson, is to listen it for 90 days. I think Araj does as a routine, daily routine, uh, every year. Every year you listen it for 90 days. So um, you can also start a new routine. Start a new routine with um, Jordan. Right, work, work on something else. It could be reading a chapter from Think and Grow Rich. Uh, it could be read for half an hour. Decision, 
literally within 20 minutes, each person read a page and can complete it within 30 minutes and do it for the next 30 days. Um, this 30 days exercise, you've seen it a lot in my, our clients' Facebook group, right? It, it just lock in the concepts that you want to learn. It's, it sounds crazy, but it absolutely works. Anybody have done that 30-day challenge to read Think and Grow Rich, the chapter on decision for 30 days, they all have that aha moment. It never fails, okay? So you can still create a routine for yourself after this um, last session of the magic word. And Eddie says, my challenge is if tomorrow I'll get withdrawal symptom for not attending a call daily, I'll get to know tomorrow if I succeed. Okay, Eddie, just reinforce what Roy is saying. Every single word matters. You don't have to wait till tomorrow to know if you will succeed. Do to this work today. Believe today you are ready, you're expecting success. Eddie, you don't wait till tomorrow, right? Some of these ideas are not expect success today. Um, so, Brennan says, um, yes, Brennan echoing what Roy is saying about words. Just say, watch a video and an aha moment. When something is empty, instead of voicing out, example, there's no more rice, no more leads, use the words that I need. Uh, I need rice, I need more. So, Brennan, shift it up one more notch instead of saying, I need rice, I need more leads. Is on the lower frequency versus I'm expecting right? I'm expecting leads. This rise are flowing to me effortlessly. Expecting it, right? Expect it. The vibration shifts. Okay, so every little slight refinement can get you the one notch better. And Jordan, attitude added to hundred. Just believe and do it happily. Um, my pleasure, with Jordan. So. Good on you for committing to coming to it um, for 30 days and do it together in Victoria. I believe as a couple, one plus one is three. This synergy. Thanks, says I read persistently and go rich. <laughs> I subscribe by lead almost a, a month now. Sounds crazy, but it does help. Yes, persistent. Uh, the always one of the best chapters uh, to start with, one of the two best chapters is the decision of persistence. You can have all the dreams and ideas you want, but if you don't make a decision to act on it, it's called hallucination. And you also need persistence to couple on it. So these are the two chapters most people would start with. After that, one of the popular chapters would be faith, right? The ability to believe, right? Uh, yes, I rise. Yes, I have rise. I have money. Yes, and yeah, exactly. Right, be creative about it. Even if there's any withdrawal system, you can always listen to Earl on YouTube. I, I believe the only thing is that the version on YouTube or uh, Spotify is a longer edition. This is one of the shortest edition I've heard. Yeah, yes. So, um, you want me to I mean, share something? Yeah, I think, I think it's great. Everybody is uh, sharing wins. And I think a lot of people are describing laws. So uh, some people are describing a lot of cause and effect. Some are experiencing a lot of gender. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's beautiful. Uh, I mean, uh, this 30-day challenge is great. So uh, I think uh, everybody should uh, just keep on doing it. <laughs> and the laws are always there. Whether... You want to follow it or not, it's always there. And it's uh, the modus operandi, God's modus operandi. So it, it's, always, uh, it's always working. And uh, you can actually uh, use it to work uh, to your advantage. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I strongly encourage, because from two onwards, there'll be no more calls. You have, you have no more commitment towards this call. Um, take out a journal, write out, I mean, at the start of the day, write out just that simple tip from her, right? I'm going to commit, I've decided, I'm going to treat everyone, everyone that I come in contact with as the most important person. Just write out that state, sentence at the start of the day, before you start your day. At the end of the day, before you put your head on the pillow, 
look at the sentence and ask yourself, did I do it? Did I treat everyone today as the most important person on earth? Yes or no, right? Even if you didn't treat everyone, still give yourself a pat on the shoulder and say, I did 50%, 80%, 90%, whichever it is, I did something. I still remember to treat someone as the most important person, not just your immediate family, but it could be a stranger on the street, right? So first thing first, don't beat yourself up. If you didn't treat everyone, recognize that you make an attempt to do it, right? So note it down every day because that could be a way, the, the journal could be a way to hold yourself accountable. Just one sentence, right? If you don't even need a journal, right? 30 sentences, you just need maybe two A4 pieces of paper. At the end of the day, give yourself a grading. Uh, maybe on a scale of one to five, five means everyone, three means I, I didn't really do consistently throughout the day. You know, just give yourself a number, right? And if you got a five that day, give yourself a pet, move on. Even if you got a three that day, give yourself a pet, move on. Even if you got a one that day, right? Give yourself a pet and move on. If you got zero that day, kick yourself in the ass. What am I doing? I wasn't thinking. Okay? So just that simple exercise. That's one way to keep yourself accountable. I mean, the community makes a difference, right? Coming to a call, listen to people sharing win. It reinforces that belief. Sometimes we don't believe in ourselves, but we have more belief in others. And which is why community makes a difference. Uh, and that's why, I, of course, if you're in my client group, you're held more accountable on a 30 days challenge, right? It's just, there's no in and out. You really commit to it. I think Chingni can feel the difference because she has been reporting to me every day on her tick, her thumbs up that she's done with her magic word challenge. And she actually did it more than 30 days because she started a little bit earlier. Okay. Okay, anyone with any more sharing before we wrap up for the last session? Yeah, so you know, say desire is so a, a good chapter to go in. Yeah, after persistent decision, um, next next chapter will be faith, desire. It's, it kind of evolves around this, right? As you continue to read the book, um, at some point in time, at a, for me, for me, at a later stage. Um, imagination became very, very important as well. So um, it's something that you want to look onto it. And if you, for those who are not my clients, if you do not have the book in Growish, a hard copy, please go get it. It documents 500 successful people, including the likes of Henry Ford, Thomas Edison. And it has 13 steps to riches, riches in any form. Whether it's riches spiritually, mentally, financially, it's all there. So if this is the only book you ever have to read, go read it and read one chapter for at least 30 days. Uh, do not assume that 30 days is good enough. You, you, you feel that it's good. You feel it at least 30 days minimum. And I always say that this chapter on older suggestion, I took... 120 days, it took a long time to sit into my subconscious, wasn't wasn't willing to, willing and graciously receiving yet. Okay, so James, yes, imagination is so important. Yeah, you just, you will shift at some point, like, it's actually damn important. Uh, something that if, at the start, if you are someone who's, who like to do it and if you read imagination as the first chapter, I think it will totally shift your results. Yes. Uh, yeah. So for those who are new who didn't wasn't with us, um, I hope Kathy, Hui Jin, um, I hope you have your own aha moment as you've been with us on this journey. For although it may not be consecutive, but I hope in that few moments you you enjoy and got some aha moment and oh, I think the rest you have been on it long enough okay so I strongly encourage you to push yourself a notch further and thanks say seeing the wins from everyone and we better ourselves yes thank so now you understand why I ask you guys to share wins on the group right <laughs>
<laughs> okay, who else was it that ping in or drop drop that and came on back? Okay, I think that's that's about it. Okay, so I hope you remember what Bob said. Um, the only way to lose is to quit and make a decision that it will never ever happen. There'll be days where you feel like doing it, but just make a decision that it's not gonna happen. This one decision will bring you big wins, absolutely big wins. So um, go decide right now, apply this one tip by Earl, and the wins will be tremendous, humongous, okay? And yes, Margaret. Um, yeah, I didn't see Elaine on call, but Margaret, you know what to do, right? You can always um, organize a session with, with your staff. You can do it too, right? Um, yes, thank you, Victoria. Good on you for coming, and thank you, everyone. So I'm going to wrap up. Hope you all are still vigilant, right? Keep holding the image, and we are looking towards uh, January 1st. For everything to be lifted and everyone have a good day ahead make good use make good use of your break during this period and fine tune your attitude and you're just gonna get humongous success as compared to the rest who do not know what they do not know you know what you know so put it all into good use okay so thanks everyone um i wish you all well and keep holding that magic word in your life. Thank you.